Hello everyone, welcome back to another session in Dentistry and more. So we are continuing our dental anatomy sessions. So today's session is about mandibular central incisor. Mandibular central incisor, as you all know, they are two in number, right and left. And the central incisor and lateral incisor are similar in anatomy and complement each other in function. They are smaller than the maxillary central incisors and mandibular central incisor erupts between the age of 7 to 8 years. Now we'll see our system that is universal, Zygmunt T system, that is Zygmunt T Palmer system and FTA system. Universal it will be 24 and 25 because this starts from here 1, 8, 9, 16, 17, 24, 25, 32. In the Zygmunt system it is 1 and 1 and FTA system it is 3, 1 and 4, 1. 3 and 4 are the quadrant, the left lower and the left right quadrant and the 1 is the central incisor. And the chronology, first evidence of calcification by 3 to 4 months, ground completion by 4 to 5 years, eruption by 7 to 8 years, and root completion by 10 years. And the dimension, uh, the crown length is 9, root length is 12.5, mesiodistal diameter at contact area is 5 and 3.5 at uh, cervix, the labial is 6 and 5.3, and the curvature on the mesial is 3 and distal is 2 mm. So we'll start with the label aspect. So you can see the picture. The label surface of mandibular incisor is very small, narrowest tooth mesiodistally of all permanent teeth, and it is bilaterally symmetrical. Both mesioincisal and distoincisal ankles are very sharp. And it is the only incisor where both mesioincisal and distoincisal ankles are sharp and at right angles. Now the lingual aspect, the lingual aspect is concave from incisal edge to the cervical line, cingulum is smooth and barely visible and the shallow lingual fossa and the smooth uh, cingulum can see here, the surface is smooth without any grooves and no other tooth in the mouth except the mandibular lateral incisor shows so few developmental lines and grooves so we don't have many features in mandibular central incisor but as a mesial aspect the labial outline is almost straight except near the cervical third where it is convex so the lingual margin is like s shape the cervical line on the mesial and distal surface is convex incisally you can see the s shaped lingual surface and the contact area and the label surface is inclined lingually. Whereas the distal aspect, the distal surface is very similar to the mesial surface, but the cervical line is less curved and contact area is almost at the incisal third, just like the mesial side. Now the incisal aspect. This aspect uh, illustrates the bilateral symmetry of the tooth. The labial lingual diameter is greater than the mesiodistal and the newly erupted teeth shows mammalons which wear off upon the mastication. Mammalons are like three small lobe like structures which is seen on the newly erupted teeth. Now the root uh, single and straight from label or lingual view the root is generally symmetrical and tapers gradually to relatively a sharp apex. From mesial or distal view the root is much wider and it is slightly convex cervical apically on both labial and lingual margins and the central portion of mesial and distal surface is usually flattened or concave but the cross section at neck outline is roughly a rectangle with rounded corners but it's slightly wider at labial than the lingual when there are root concavities present they are reflected as concavities in the mesial and distal outlines the midroot cross section is similar to the cervical section but only more ovoid in shape. So basically the question will come uh, the difference between maxillary central and mandibular uh, central incisor. In maxillary central incisor the crown is wider mesiodistally than labial lingually 
but here it is crowned wider labial lingually than mesiodistally in maxilla the lingual fossa is pronounced often with lingual pit here it is shallow without grooves or pit and in maxilla there is more prominent cingulum and marginal ridges they are not prominent in mandible now the comparison between mandibular central and lateral incisor so that is also again a common question on labial aspect the symmetry it is bilateral on central but lateral it is asymmetrical the meso incisal and distro incisal ankle are sharp in central but rounding in mesial and more rounded in distro incisal angle but the contact area is all at incisal third mesial or distal irrespective of the teeth and incisal aspect the incisal ridge from right ankle with labiolingual bisecting line but incisal ridge is twisted on crown with respect to the lateral incisor so that is all about mandibular central incisor so form of difference between maxillary central and mandibular central or mandibular central and mandibular lateral just like the maxillary central incisor so that's all about mandibular central incisor it's a very small tooth similarly very small features very few features there is no much features on the labial lingual or mesial and incisal side because it's the smallest tooth in the oral cavity but question might come uh, with regard to the comparison with lateral or maxillary central incisor so i'll come up with the mandibular lateral incisor in my next session thank you mm -hmm.